Hey everybody, my name is Dowden, and in this two-minute tutorial, I'm going to show you a really quick and easy way to audition samples inside of a drum rack. It's going to give you context of the samples inside your track, so that while you're listening to your track and building your track, you can audition these samples without having to drag and drop them, without having to hot swap them by clicking on them, and by actually playing along with them to hear how it sounds in the context of your track. So let's go ahead and get started. So go ahead and I have the simple drum loop. But say I want to add an open hi-hat to it. What I could do first is just open up an open hi-hat. And I could just drag and drop these into maybe an audio sample, or I introduce a new drum rack. Drum rack, drag and drop it in there. Okay, make a MIDI clip. So I have an open hat inside my drum rack. I'm playing the MIDI information. So let's hear how it sounds in the track. But say I don't like that sample and I want to try other ones. You could drag and drop them into here like this, one by one. Or you could use the hot swap feature. But it's not as efficient as this technique that I'm going to show you. So what you can do is grab all these samples inside of here. Grab a bunch of samples, select all of them, and drag and drop them directly into your drum rack. Now all these samples are loaded inside of your drum rack. What you can do now is go into your MIDI information. Make sure fold is off. Grab that information play the track, and cycle through every single sample that you have by going up and down on your keyboard. So I like that one. And the benefit to this is now we have all these samples inside of our drama. We have tons of samples. We can have a lot of different samples to choose from. And instead of going through and auditioning every single sample inside of our browser here and dragging and drop them or hot swapping them, by bringing all these samples into our MIDI information, we can very quickly cycle through. And this gives us the opportunity to hear it in the context of the track while we're cycling through. We keep that loop going and it just gives us the idea of what it'll actually sound like and not just kind of playing a guessing game as we're auditioning them inside of our browser here. I do another video where I outline how to do this with loops as well, and that is going to be in the description below. And if you're new to the channel, make sure to subscribe, and if you like this video, make sure to give it a thumbs up.